In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a little hat and add it to your players as they enter the game. So let's go to part. Let's get started on our hat. Add a cylinder. And let me get a little bit closer so you can see it. And I'm going to call this the top for the top hat. I'm going to make it black. And let's see, I'm going to orient it so that it is up and down. So 90 degrees on the Z will do that. And let me change the size. The size, I'm going to make that 1.5 by 1.5 by 1.5. All righty, move it up off the ground here. And with collisions off, I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it. And this is going to be the rim. And the rim, I'm going to change that size to 0.3 by 3 by 3. Now I'm going to turn collisions on bump it up against. There we go, we got a little hat. But in order to wear the hat, we have to have it in an accessory. So let's go to a workspace, hit the plus sign, A for accessory, and add an accessory. It's called the accessory top hat. Add the top to the top hat, add the rim to the top hat. All right, now we need a handle with an attachment so that we can put the hat on our player with a script. So we go to plus and not yet. Let's go to parts, add a block. There we go. Put the block in the top hat. Let's call this handle. All right, and let's make it really small. All right, so we're gonna say 0.1 by 0.1 by 0.1. I'm gonna turn collisions off because I'm really bad at lining things up. So I'm going to click on the rim. I'm going to get the position of the rim right here, position. Control V, uh, C, Control C for copy. I'm going to go to my handle. Click the position on the handle. Control V to paste it. Boom. Now I'm right in the middle of the rim. And you can move this down a little bit. So this is going to affect how the hat sits on your character's head. So you move the, move the handle around how you want it. I like it like that, yeah, like that, sitting a little high maybe. And I don't want the hat to bump anything. So I'm going to select both the rim and the top and I'm going to turn my can collide off. Where's my can collide? I missed it. There it is. Can collide off. Cool. And now in the handle, let's add an attachment. So there is something called a hat attachment on your player's head. So we'll call this hat attachment. And then when we add the accessory to our humanoid, it's going to line up this hat attachment to the hat attachment on your, on your player, on your character. Sweet. We got it. And ooh, we don't want it to fall apart. There's always something, right? Put weld constraints. I'm going to add two weld constraints. So add weld constraints to your hat. You can actually put the weld constraints anywhere. Part zero, well, anywhere in your hat. Hit handle, part one, hit rim. Go to the second weld constraint, part zero, hit rim, part one, hit top. Now it's all together and won't fall apart. Let's take our top hat. And I'm going to move it down to server storage. You could put this in replicated storage or server storage. It works on both of them. I tried it. Replicated storage gives you the advantage that you can, you can access stuff with both a client and a server script, but we're going to use a server script. So either will work. Let's go to starter player. In starter player, let's go to starter character scripts. And let's add a script. Let's call the script add hat. All right, so I'm going to make a variable called P model for player model, and that's just going to be script dot parent. And then I am going to add um, a variable for my humanoid. So I'll say P model. Wait for child because we've got to wait till the character is fully in the world. Humanoid. And then let's get some server storage. Game get service, server storage. 
And then from the server storage, let's get our hat. I'm gonna say SS wait for child. And now you have to call it this. You have to call it top hat. Or whatever you named it. You could you could have named it anything, but it's got to match up uh, to the name in your server storage. So top hat. And then I'm gonna clone it. Say clone. Whoops, that's close. Clone. And then here is the awesome part of Roblox that allows you just to add an accessory. I'll say hat, and it's gonna match up your hat attachment to the hat attachment on your character. Let's go ahead and try it. There we go, he's got a hat, pretty cool. Okay, I hope you had a good time and I will see you in the next video.